If this sounds absurd, well, that's because it is. But back in the day, we wouldn't be caught eating vanilla ice cream. This is Two Minute Black History, what you didn't learn in school. The Jim Crow South was a dangerous place for our people, full of laws and customs to keep us from living in the country we built. But this one food restriction was the most bizarre. Black people were denied vanilla ice cream every day except July 4th. This is ironic considering an enslaved man, Edmund Albius, revolutionized the cultivation of vanilla in the first place. Maya Angelou wrote, People in stamps used to say that the whites in our towns were so prejudiced that a Negro couldn't buy vanilla ice cream, except on July 4th. Other days, he had to be satisfied with chocolate. Many chose butter pecan instead, and now it's a staple for us. Poet Audrey Lord appears to co-sign the foolish practices around ice cream. When her parents tried to treat her to vanilla ice cream at a soda shop during a family trip, the waitress refused them service. She wrote, the waitress was white, the counter was white, and the ice cream I never ate in Washington, D.C. that summer when I left childhood was white. See, the thing is, anti-blackness is a way for them to assert oppression, even as senseless rules. It's time for us to imagine a butter pecan world where we center our culture. In order to move towards the future, you've got to look to the past. This has been Two Minute Black History, a podcast by Push Black. If you enjoyed this episode and want to show your support, please subscribe and rate our podcast. Together, let's celebrate and honor the legacy of Black history.